Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Mrs. KK and this is The Wave. I just your weekly show that looks at topics related to personal, family and business finance. And really all we are hoping is that by the time we get to the end of this conversation, you are better equipped to make sound financial decisions. So if you're new here, thank you very much and welcome. And if you're already a returning subscriber, an awesome appreciation. All right, today I'm going to be speaking about the cost of my pregnancy journey. I know a lot of you guys have obviously um, suspected I was expecting. Some of you guys commented congratulating me on the YouTube videos that I did during my pregnancy. Some of you guys said my neck was darker, which is, is darker, my face is rounder, I'm glowing, etc, etc. And yes, I'm glad I actually didn't stop filming during my pregnancy journey. But I'm actually coming to the end of that journey. So today, after church, I thought I would do a video while I pack my hospital bag. But it's not going to be the cost of the hospital bag, whatever. I'm going to be speaking about my journey regarding the cost of the pregnancy, especially the shockers that I wasn't expecting along the journey. But I will then be doing that at the same time while packing um, so that I can get to something productive. And... Um, my friend said I'm not allowed to film when I go on maternity leave, so I need to make sure that I have my bags ready because I am actually running out of time. I'm filming this on Mother's Day and hopefully I will be uploading it after I give birth. But as of today, I'm ex as of yesterday, I'm exactly 36 weeks, so I have four weeks left, so I'm counting less than a month left. So I need to make sure my hospital bag is ready. So here is a whole bunch of the hospital bag that I have to um, pack and I obviously got a list from the hospital of what needs to be in the bag and um, it's nothing too actually hectic. Um, I have, I need to put in five set of clean clothes, I need to put in vest, I need to put in receiving blanket, some collar drop, some gel, some um, bath oil, baby balm, uh, nappies, cottons and a few other things. So I am going to be filming that and I need to make sure that I pack each item in a separate bag. So I went with a friend of mine to shop and um, we're trying to see which bags are best. So basically each set of outfit needs to go in the hospital in a plastic bag so that when the nurse wash your baby, dress your baby, bring your baby to you, undress the baby, they are putting the, the clothes, taking them from a separate bag putting it in a bag uh, after that and then returning it to you so that your clothes don't go missing and so that they actually dress your child the way you want your dress your child to be dressed so the best we could find is actually this freezer bags because it's just clear plastic bags the remainder of this was they just use in the kitchen but yeah so that's what i'm going to be doing today is basically just packing i have um i have one bag here i couldn't find a bigger bag i have one bag here that i'm going to try and pack all the clothes first and see if I fit if I don't fit all of them in here I have another bag which I got as a gift which I might then pack the remainder of the things that are not fitting in so I'm going to be first packing the kitty's bag and um, the baby's bag and then I'll pack my bag later but nonetheless so please bear with me I am sitting in this awkward position because I need back support so i just wrapped up my pregnancy period here so that i can get some back support and yes so all right so like i've mentioned this is not going to be a video about what's in my hospital bag but as you can see you'll be able to pick up what's my hospital bag so i'm going to be speaking about the pregnancy shockers that i didn't know before i got pregnant so so please bear with me if I'm not looking in the camera. So the moral of the story is unpacking and filming this at the same time so that I can get this content out. So I got married in 2020, late 2020, and that's about just over two years. This is my third, 2021, two and three. So this is technically our third year of this marriage. And... Um, from the get-go it was quite clear that we didn't want a baby like as soon as we get married married immediately because there's still a few other things that we needed to do and the wedding process is also just exhausting so i don't want to just jump in being a mother already and having to deal with quite a lot so 
before I get distracted, I am going to, so in each bag, I'm basically taking an outfit. So for example, I have this warm, whatever these things are called. I have this warm yellow. Of course, baby bee is going to be yellow. So I've got this warm uh, thingy that I'm packing in here. So it is like one item here. Then obviously I need to put in socks because the baby is coming in winter in the same bag. Then I have to put in a beanie. So I have to put in a beanie. So this is a beanie. And I have to put in a body vest. So this is a body vest. So this is actually a complete outfit that's going to be in the bag. So I'm just going to be packing it like that. And then at the end, I'm going to be putting solar tape there. So it's, it's sealed because the bags, we needed something slightly bigger because most of the zip bags that have uh, zippers were quite smaller. So the larger ones are the ones that don't have zippers. So I'm just going to be using the solar tape, just one that we had in the house to fasten that bag. Anyways, getting back to the story. All right, so like I've mentioned, we already had like agreed up front that we aren't looking to get a child immediately. There's still a few things that we wanted to do and therefore we delayed having the baby uh, for the last two years. Um, but we said that we would try, start trying for baby at the second half of last year. And that's what we exactly did. And then... Um, so sometimes towards September, early October, I then went to the doctor complaining I was sick and it turned out I was expecting. Okay. So it wasn't actually a surprise to my husband or anything because obviously he had to take me to the hospital and the doctor had to tell me the news. Hunger, you are not sick, you are expecting. Okay. So that is where it started. So I was seeing a junior doctor and... Um, because of the pregnancy, the junior doctor said she doesn't see pregnant patient. I have to be transferred to a senior doctor that does see pregnant patients. So I was then transferred and my journey started there. So firstly, I didn't have to... So normally with my junior doctor, I had to top up 150 per every consultation. That didn't really bother me much because I was in any case not at the hospital every month but the senior doctor i was transferred to actually is off medical rate by 250. does it even look neat oh goodness anyways the senior doctor was off medical rate by 250. so that means my monthly cost for seeing a doctor jumped from 150 to 250. so my first shocker was number one i was coming from the coast at the coast we didn't top up where did I put this? So we didn't top up on any doctor's consultation except I had a chiropractor when I have back issues and he was $50 off medical rate. So from now paying nothing to paying $150 to paying $250 per every consultation, that was for me a big shocker. But nonetheless, we have to move. Um, I actually did ask around for a few doctors that were near me, but it looked like everyone was actually off medical rate. And 250 wasn't, yeah, it was bad, but it's not the end of the world, okay? So that was my first um, shocker because I didn't know senior doctors, although it's, it's actually common sense, I didn't know senior doctors cost more than junior doctors okay, at the same practice. So that was my first shocker. So that means every month I must in my budget now include doctor's rates. For about 250. The second pregnancy shocker that I got obviously was now I had to take multivitamins. Okay, I always took multivitamin on um, self medication, but this one's were prescribed multivitamins and I had to take it again on a monthly basis. So the first few months, the multivitamins were fine because I think I only topped up about maybe. 30 for some pharmacy, 70 for some other pharmacies that are slightly expensive until I got in my third trimester and I had to take three at once and the top up increased to over 100. Okay, that was also, also another cost. So that meant that in my monthly budget, there was actually um, doctor's fees and all those top ups that I had to do on, on the medications. Um, 
to be able to afford my doctor's visit and on top of that the biggest of all of them the shockers is the sonographer where i have to go for the checkups for them to check um the baby so when you go to see your normal doctor or your gp or your gynecologist or whoever it is they normally have a mini sauna in their room but the mini sauna doesn't really tell them the exact details so you have three big saunas that medical aid would cover so medical aid would cover so this is outfit number two medical aid would cover that but the the sonographer was also off medical rate by 500 so in the month where you had a sauna and a doctor so you should have the doctor uh, the sauna which is an additional 500 so that about five six seven seven fifty and then you still have if your your vitamins are also rolling off in that month you would essentially be needing about a thousand just to be able to make sure that you actually are um able to afford your fees okay so that was my second or third shocker my other shocker was the body change right um, the first few months it was fine you didn't have to do much because your belly is still not showing or it's showing but it's not really pushing so your clothes still fit and your shoes are still fine then came trimester number two slowly but surely my clothes all didn't fit so everything i wore to work was actually brand new because nothing that i had previously was actually fitting and that was a shocker for me because I thought, yeah, I have a few dresses, but most of my my dresses were body hugging and my body size did change quite a bit. So all the dresses I had to wear, I had to buy. And I figured out there's actually limited size when it comes to maternity outfits because most of them either don't stretch nicely or are not floating freely or are not professional because remember now, it's not just any dress, it's a dress you can wear that fits for maternity that you can still go to a board meeting with. So that was my biggest. So I there was a month where I literally had to shop and I told myself I'm not gonna, you know, buy too many of those things because I'm probably just gonna wear them during pregnancy and then after giving birth my body might go back to normal. And actually after giving birth I will need breastfeeding friendly dresses. So either way. It wasn't a long-term shopping so i only bought like six dresses so i have a dress monday to friday and i have an extra one in case i change my mind in the morning that i don't want to wear and most of these dresses i bought in Woolworths or true West, and they were at least from 450 to 750 so it was also quite a steep cost to actually fit in one month but you can't delay because you know your normal dresses get so uncomfortable so you just have to buy all right so that's the biggest obviously shoes you also need to consider you know shoes that are a bit comfortable but luckily my fit didn't change that much i didn't swell up a lot so my pumps could still fit but i had to buy a pair of sandals just to supplement the ones that were fitting okay so i'm done with outfit number two and this is outfit number one okay then so we've spoken about the medication the doctor's top-up the sonographer and the clothes so yeah then um oh I'm, i've become so forgetful apparently it's called pregnancy brain i'll literally be in the middle of something and i will completely forget then obviously um, as month progresses, you actually have to make minor adjustment here. The one thing that I noticed was was a bit of a shocker for me. As the month goes by, I'm doing my outfit number three. As the months go by, it became your body becomes less and less flexible. So, like, um, you know, you can't do the things you normally do. My biggest thing is actually getting onto the bed. The bed we have is quite high, and I I, I really just couldn't stretch myself to get into that bed <laughs> so i was now wondering 
if we didn't have a spare bedroom if i didn't have a spare bed what will i have done so that is also something that would have been actually steep if i had to buy a bed just because i can't get on the other bed or perhaps you might have to consider buying those stepping stools the ones that people put on the, alongside the bed so you step on that and then you actually jump on the bed so yeah um other than that um i've noticed that um those cost really it's something that i knew i would have to go to the doctor a lot and uh, i knew i had to take multivitamins but i didn't know about the sonographer costing so much and it might not be the case with your medical aid so please check in with your medical aid so before i start folding this please check in with your medical aid what they cover and what they don't cover what you need to top up so that you are ready for those costs so diet wise i didn't really have cravings or things like that so my food diet didn't really change i'm looking for another socks um my food diet didn't really change i didn't have weird cravings mm, i can't find another socks okay i didn't have weird cravings so i didn't have to you know uh, buy a lot of a lot of uh, food but obviously you are told to sit to stay away from like processed food a lot um so you must try and eat healthy so obviously your diet will change slightly um but nothing you really can't afford so yes and one thing i told myself until i'm really at a point where i'm ready to go to the hospital i am not buying anything and traditional direction you know, you're not really allowed to buy too many things except things for the hospital bag unless you of course get something as a gift so um yeah i don't have to spend a lot in terms of um the baby uh during the pregnancy yeah, i remember the first thing the first thing i bought when it came to the pregnancy was this pregnancy pillow you can't see it properly because i have folded it but it's those long pillows that you can that supports your entire body so i've just folded it so that it gives me back support while i do this video and fold and, and pack these clothes but i bought that second hand from um what's that app pay today where people sell things and i paid 150 for it so throughout my pregnancy that was like the first thing that i bought because i really needed it from the beginning my back was a bit you know i felt a bit uncomfortable when i slept so i needed some back support and when i saw it i bought it and i'm still using it until now so yeah so this that's really the cost of my pregnancy in terms of shockers um the second thing i want to speak about today is uh, social security and maternity related things right so outfit number three two more outfits to go okay um so um the labor act in Namibia requires any woman that's expecting to go on maternity leave the maternity leave period is about three months and you need to go on that maternity and claim your benefits from social security we all contribute towards social security every month where the deduction is normally 0.09 percent of your basic salary if i'm not mistaken limited to 81 dollars so if you take that 0. Point something percent times your salary and it gives you more than 81 dollar your contribution is kept at 81 dollars so when it's time to go on maternity leave you then claim from maternity leave but social security will only pay you maximum fifteen thousand. so if you earn more than fifteen thousand, you are going to be in a shortfall and depending on whether you work in the private sector or in the public sector you might actually have different consequences towards that some employers who would be nice and top up uh, or pay you a portion of your salary then you can go claim the remainder on social security some of them you know put your deductions on hold and then you make a payment arrangement to backdate them when you come back from maternity leave etc etc so you just need to make sure that before you fall pregnant you are aware that that's what social security is going to pay you and you have a salary cut and you either need to you know build up savings to be able to survive that or make arrangement with your employer in order for you to be able to survive during maternity and that is obviously something i knew all along 
uh, and my employer also has an arrangement where you know they pay you an extra portion of your salary so that it can substantiate uh, what you're getting from maternity leave and obviously we have specific conditions towards that so you just need to make sure whether your employer has any of that in place and um, you are aware of that to be able to plan financially the other thing i want to speak on social security is social security requires that you submit your forms before you give birth if you submit late and for whatever reason you go you give birth early if the process gets slightly longer i hear you have to make a declaration that you are negligent that's why you didn't put in your form on time that obviously influences the timing of their payment so if you submit your forms early they will pay you early so you normally submit your forms before you give birth and then after you give birth you go submit another form with the birth certificate of the child for them to now pay you the remainder of your two months so they'll pay you for three months because you're not paying your babies then three months so that's social security right so so yeah, I got distracted there. I was looking for a body vest, but I couldn't find an additional body vest. But luckily, the materials that are left, this is not as thick as those ones. So I am going to just pack this white one, or maybe this one. I'll go pack this one, and then um, I either reuse one of those body vests, or I'll, yeah, actually, technically speaking, I either use one of those body vests or I just dress the child without a body vest because this material is a lot lighter. It doesn't really need uh, it. I'll make a plan. Anyways, the moral of the story is I'm not going back to the shop. I don't have the energy anymore. Um, so I'll pack that, this and this, and then we are done with outfit number five. So this is going back because I said I must just pack five set of outfits. But you're only supposed to be in the hospital for three days, so we will see how that goes. And the baby is bathed once. We will see how that goes. Um, so I was saying that your costs after you give birth will obviously be uh, different. You will obviously have baby costs that wasn't in your budget. And um, depending on what your, arrange, your living arrangement are, you will have a nanny that wasn't in your budget um and then you have you know uh and your your grocery budget will obviously uh be different because you're not gonna have an extra person in your household so you also just need to make sure that you are adjusting your budget closer to giving birth so that you are taking into consideration those costs so yes that is all i wanted to say regarding my pregnancy shockers and i really hope you do take into consideration these things before you fall pregnant and um you are planning for it uh, accordingly um so do let us know in your in the comment section below what was your biggest pregnancy shocker that financially that you were not ready for um yeah let us know and let's learn from one another the aim of this channel is really to just share information with other young professional young adults um to make sure that we aren't just living life for the sake of it we actually are making informed decisions including when to have a child because in as much as we don't want to talk about it baby our blessings from god and they also tend to be a very expensive blessing so yes i now have my five outfits ready i will see you guys in the next video where i speak about the cost of this bags that i'm picking today right cheers